And oh yeah, let's test fire our main batteries. Here we'll get kind of out of the sun so we can see them a little bit better. Make sure we don't hit any of our ships. Wow, that is just like a stream of death right there. Waiting orders. Awaiting orders. Awaiting orders. Awaiting orders. Awaiting orders.
All right, welcome back, everybody, to uh, X4 Foundations. I'm an old guy, gaming. And as you can see, we now have ourselves our very first destroyer. It is a split rattlesnake. And, uh, man, very much looking forward to taking this thing out and uh, putting it through its paces. So, very cool ship. Uh, between this and the 10 chimeras that... Um, uh, you know, that I purchased, it took me hours, literally in real life hours to gather all of the stuff needed, uh, uh, to make this thing, uh, to build these things. Um, the advanced electronics was the worst part, you know, just getting the actual, the quantity that they actually wanted. And, I, and I'm starting to wonder if maybe it's because I put so many, uh, Mark II laser towers in the ship. I'm not really sure. But, orders. Um, actually, no. Come to think of it, it wasn't because it was the Chimeras that needed the advanced electronics. So, yeah, I'm just very stoked here. Oh, to, will you guys shut up? <laughs> I'm trying to do, I was trying to do this cinematic for you guys, and I keep getting awaiting orders, awaiting orders, because I, I told my squadron to, to just kind of go park and stand by so they weren't in my face while I was doing this for you guys. Anyway, yeah, very excited uh, to take the Rattlesnake out um, with its new Chimera squadron. And get it going but we got we got some stuff we have to do first um like for example transfer some captains and things like that uh before we really take this out in earnest it, its first mission its first planned mission is going to be to take out um, the sea pirate base in grand exchange three or wherever that is uh, close to home and start working on trying to make um the sectors uh, our, our trading sector is a little safer uh, so that is the goal. All right, so here's what we're going to do. Um, let's go ahead and go into the menu here. And I just kind of have everybody and their dog follow me right at the moment. Um, but I had fighters and all of these haulers and traders that I kind of flew around with me to get all the parts. So it was a, it was quite an ordeal. Um, and something that definitely as soon as it's feasible for us to do, we need to start manufacturing our own parts because that was just a pain in the butt, uh, to be quite honest with you. Uh, okay, so anyway, let's um, let's get off over here just a little bit in the Nemesis. And then we are going to teleport to the Rattlesnake. And this will be my very first time on our new destroyer. Wow, look at that. That's really cool. Okay, let's go on up this way. And this is the bridge of the destroyer. And we got our crew working at their stations. So cool. This is the flight control. There's our Captain Sautnik. Uh, don't tell him that, but we, we're probably going to replace him fairly soon. And then this is like a little holographic, um, like, war thingy, I guess? A war table, or whatever you want to call it? Very neat, man, very neat. Okay, so, um, where to begin? <laughs> There's so much to do here. So our captain is a, he's a one-star pilot. Um, do I have, can I help a seminar for him? Nope, I don't. Okay. So Goodbye. the thing about this ship is that I'm going to be controlling it myself, at least for part of the time, but I want, I want a pretty reliable captain in, uh, at the helm when I'm, when I'm not, uh, because I mean, this ship is so expensive. We don't want to risk losing it due to stupidity. AI stupidity. Um, so he's... He, <laughs> did you see him turn around when I said AI stupidity? He's like, are you talking about me? Uh, anyway. So I guess the first thing we'll do is let's go... Let's go into the menu here. And I want to take a look at our personnel as it they currently are. Okay, so... We finally have a new captain here. 
who has just achieved uh, on one of our training ships has just achieved three stars so here's what's going to happen we are going to promote Callie uh, she's my best captain uh, to the captain of the destroyer um, she's been with us for the longest um, she's done a really good job for us so she's definitely our, our top captain uh, so she's going to become the commander of the destroyer and I'm going to have this Rudilus Hurilus um, take her place in Trader 1. So let's go ahead and make that happen. Um, I think what I want to do is... Let's start by just having them switch places. Yeah, let's just have them switch places first, and then once Callie gets to the miner, then we'll transfer her over to the destroyer. I think that's how, the way we'll do that. Okay, so we need to trainer, miner one, um, and trader one ship. All right, so let's go trader, miner one, and then we'll right click on trader one. We'll do transfer crew and exchange captains and Callie's going to be going like hey what are you doing demoting me to a, a training mining ship that's okay Callie don't worry we have we have a major Christmas present for you coming up just trust me it'll happen soon have faith <laughs> uh, okay so oh wow they transferred already I thought it usually took a little bit of time for that to happen okay um, now what I want to do is I think we'll just swap places with Callie and the captain of the destroyer um, So she's in trainer minor one. So now what we'll do Is we'll do trainer minor one and we'll select the rattlesnake And uh, Transfer crew with exchange captains This person is all oh, so she is in transit, okay I thought that was weird, but usually it shows when you look at this screen, whoops, it usually shows the them grayed out while they're currently in transit, but for some reason it's not doing that, so I don't know. Okay, so we'll have to wait for, for that transfer to take place, and then again we'll swap Callie with the current destroyer captain, and she will become the captain of our destroyer. Okay, so while that's happening... Um, let's go ahead and go back to here. So if we look at our rattlesnake, uh, which we're going to need, uh, we're going to rename this too. I haven't actually thought much about that, but we will want to do that. So we have, so we can actually dock up to 41 ships on the rattlesnake. I th think that's what that means. However, that means they're stored in a hangar. That doesn't mean they're ready to deploy immediately. Because I think we only have one spot on this ship for them to actually dock. Uh, where does it tell us that in more detail? Greetings. Greetings. Um, do, 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 do. I'm not seeing that here. If we um, if we just look at it though, from the shipyard, and we go rattlesnake. Okay, so it's got, it ha yeah, it has one small ship surface dock, but it can store up to forty uh, fighters inside its hangar. Um, the thing that I'm not sure about is how quickly these ships can deploy. Um, so we might test that, I guess. Just do, you know, just like run a little test. But my, my general plan is to have my Chimera wing escort, and they're just, they'll just fly with the destroyer. They won't be docked. Um, escort the ship itself to protect it, uh, you know, against smaller ships. Um, so, okay. So, like I said, a lot of things to do here. I think what we'll do first then is let's get the Chimera fleet 
over to, and I, I gotta rename all these guys too. Uh, remove all orders and assignments, and I'm gonna assign you to intercept for commander. All right, so now the chima uh, chimeras are assigned to the rattlesnake, and they should come over and uh, start protecting us. Okay. What we're gonna and, and what we're gonna do too is we're gonna take our entire fleet back home to our space uh, and guard the haulers along the way, and then once we get back there, I'll assign the haulers back to their normal job, which is working for the station. Um, okay, so we got the Chimera fleet, and I'm I'll think of up, up a name for this later because uh, I want to give it some thought because it's got to be a cool it's got to be a cool name. I, I'm not going to just name it like Destroyer One. Um, well, actually, that would be kind of practical, but it needs to be cooler than that, man. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's try something. Let's grab. Um, where's the, yeah, okay. Let's grab these fighters. And let's unassign them from the Nemesis for the moment. All right, now, what I want you to do is I want you guys to uh, dock at the, at the Rattlesnake. Dock, it should be your current location. Uh, I think we want them to dock and wait. But, uh, yeah, okay. Let's just have them dock and wait. Can um, I help? Goodbye. How do I, oh, I was going to say, that's kind of hard to get, get at for taking command. All right, let's do uh, this view. Let's just kind of watch what they do here. Somebody, somebody shooting at something? Okay, so yeah, see, they go, they dock. What the hell's going on? Is somebody shooting? It, it almost sounds... Almost sounds like the Nodans are quickly firing their travel engine and then turning it off again. But it looks to me like this is going to take as as long as it. That sounds like gunfire. <laughs> um, here, let's turn around this way. Is the factory shooting at an enemy? I don't see any red around, or I don't see any destroyed ships either. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe maybe that's what it was. The Nodans were firing their travel engines real quick and then turning them back off. I swear that sounds like gunfire, though. Maybe the station's shooting at a criminal. Okay, anyway. Um, this... So this is really the same scenario as... Um... You know, as the Cerberus was, where it takes a very long time to load and unload the fighters. So that doesn't mean it's useless, but I'd almost rather have the fighters just out and about flying around because, you know, they're not going to be useful to us in the hull and we would need lots of time to deploy. Like, you know, if we had time before we went into like a big battle or something. Uh, are we moving? Yeah, we are. Okay. Um So he's just docked on top there and it's probably because the other 3 are inside so there's no point in him also going inside I'm guessing. Okay, you scan now. Okay, now if we wanted to deploy our docked ships um, and tell them to attack something or in this case we'll just tell them to, to fly and wait here 
What? Why is he going inside first? <laughs> what the hell, man? Unless maybe he still what? Oh, maybe they haven't completely filled up. Okay, that's probably what the deal is because it looks like we still have some. Are those Nodans or Chimeras? Chimera. Oh, those are Chimeras. Okay. It's possible that he hadn't fully completed his docking sequence. So this is only going to work if we're in a situation where we have time to deploy, like we're getting ready to attack a station and we're getting, you know, we're staging and stuff. It isn't going to work if we get immediately attacked and we need these fighters, you know, to help stem the tide. Um, That being Awaiting said, though, orders. here's the other thing. The Chimeras, I, I'm going to always have the Chimeras out. They're just plain going to always be out. Their sole purpose is to guard the Rattlesnake and keep it safe. Awaiting orders. Um, so we could still have, a, you know, a big squadron of 40 Nodans inside of the belly of this thing. And then when we're ready to take out a K or something, you know, we could launch them ahead of time. But I don't know, that just seems like a bunch of screwing around, to be honest with you. Plus, I kind of need these Nodans to, to protect our other ships. Plus, I need to buy some more anyway. So I'll have to think about that. Um, you know, it, it's not, it's definitely not a quick solution. That's for sure, because it, it's, it's just going to take too long for the fighters to launch. Um, okay, so. Awaiting orders. Why don't we go ahead next and, well, let, let's see if Callie's actually ready to transfer yet. Uh, so we'll go here. She's in. Trainer Miner 1. And looks like she's now... Well, I don't know if she's there yet, but she's assigned to that. Now let's see if we can trans... Uh, or swap her with the Rattlesnake. Transfer crew with... Exchange captains. There we go. Nice. Okay. Callie's going to be so excited. She has her first capital vessel commission here. fan freaking fantastic um, Okay, so... We got that done now. Uh, so the ships that I just pulled out and told to hold position, I guess we never really assigned them. So they're just kind of loose right at the moment. So let's just assign them to defend, I suppose. Orders. Let's assign the nemesis to defend. Joining squad. And where is, where's the Cerberus? Um, I thought I had the Cerberus with us. Oh, right. They're in this group. Okay, because this, this was like one of the last haulers that I, I brought up. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take these fighters and assign them to defend. Joining squad. We're going to take the Cerberus and the Falcon. And... Uh, remove all assignments and assign them to defend the rattlesnake. Uh, right now, we're just kind of assembling the fleet to take them home. Uh, in case you're wondering what I'm doing here. And then I want all of the hauling ships. Remove all assignments to follow the rattlesnake in Gamma. Joining squad. That includes Station Hauler 1. Follow Commander in Gamma. Joining squad. The reason I'm hanging on to these two traders, um, they're, they're three star pilots, but they lost their fleets, and I didn't want them out by themselves until I could reassign a fleet, so I just used them to help me uh, get all the stuff. Um, okay, so I think we have everybody assembled now. 
And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start moving uh, home. So let's zoom out on the map here. And we'll set ourselves a... Guidance. And here we go. Uh, this system, by the way, is absolutely amazing. Um, the the very first part of the the opening sequence that I showed you is what's happening is there's a neutron star um, next to this, you know, this um, yellow star here, uh, main sequence star, I think it's called, and the neutron star is actually pulling material away from the main star, and uh, it's just really cool because when I first came to the system, I, I saw that and I go, wow, that is awesome. Um, it's a little unrealistic though because. <laughs> If we were that close to a, to the neutron star, star for real, I, I, we'd all be sucked into it and be dead anyways. But it's it's just really neat, though. I, I love stuff like that. All right, so we have fairly reasonable maneuverability here. I swear that sounds like gunfire. Courier 3. Nah, Courier 3's... I'm not really worried about those guys because they usually don't have any trouble getting away from whoever's after them. Um, let's take a look and see. Okay, all of our turrets are currently on defend. Um, and Oh, yeah, let's test fire our main batteries. Here, we'll get kind of out of the sun so we can see them a little bit better. Make sure we don't hit any of our ships. Wow, that is just like a stream of death right there. And then let's see how long it takes for them to cool off. You know, that's not actually... That's not that long. Oh, this ship is just going to wreck stuff. So excited to, to take out our first pirate station. Um, let's try strafing here. Okay, that's reasonable strafage. Okay. Let's try some boosting. We'll take our shield down about halfway with the boost and then we'll kick in the travel drive. Looks like that's about... Oh, right, the travel mode has to charge on these ships, so... Yeah, the, I don't know that the boosting's gonna help. Well, I guess it would help a little bit. I just didn't time that correctly. That sounds so cool. There we go, all right. Well, you know what, though? It probably isn't gonna help, now that I think about it, because we could boost, but as soon as we start the travel drive, it's going to start slowing back down again until it charges, so the boosting's probably... There's probably not any point in doing that. Let's get some external view action going here. Look at this thing, man. This is so cool. Zoom out a little bit. We've got our fleet following us. Oh, I'm so excited to take this out and and try it, man. I like that little kind of cone thing in the front of the ships when it's doing its uh, travel drive. It's almost like a little force field shield thingy or something. Um, so, yeah, we're going to fly home. If uh, 
if we get into a scrap along the way, I will definitely show that on camera. Otherwise, I will meet you guys back um, at Reaver Industries headquarters, and then we will go from there. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, I discovered that um, the the boosting actually does work because it doesn't kick the boost off until the travel drive completely engages. Um, so I can boost and start the travel drive and it'll stay it'll continue to boost until the travel drive actually kicks in which runs my shield down a little less than half so that works out fairly fairly well and boom there it kicks in so it runs it down to about maybe 40 percent uh and then this ship gets it like up to like 28,000 meters per second. <laughs> it's actually really fast. It takes a while for it to get get up to that speed, but man, it really cruises along. Um, Callie is now with us, so she's over in the um, um, navigation station, I guess that is, right now. She's just letting me, as the owner, uh, try out the ship for the first time, but she will definitely get her chance at the helm. And uh, We've already spoken to the crew and introduced her and to the to their new captain so she is in charge except for not in charge of me because <laughs> i'm the boss all right so yeah this thing just gets moving it's fantastic it act it actually slows down a lot faster than i thought it would too yeah so it it tops out at about 28 102 meters per second so it is cruising i mean you know for a big ship anyways I'll aim right for the gate there okay let's put the brakes on now that's, it slows down really fast, way faster than I would have expected a ship like this to slow down at that speed, which is <laughs> really useful, really useful. Okay, let's keep on keeping on here. Entering system, Profit Center Alpha. Ooh, here's a question. Can capital vessels go on the highway? I never even thought about that before. Let's go, let's go try it out and see. Are we shooting at something? same noise from before. I don't think so, though. What is he saying? The turrets aren't shooting because we have beam turrets and plasma guns, and they do not look or sound like that. Oh, okay, there is an enemy in the Away area. Orders. Okay. Well, there was an enemy. Keyword was. <laughs> Awaiting orders. Alright, let's see if this works on the highway. I don't know if it does or not. Um Oh, we got a xenon ship coming up behind us. Where'd he go? I don't know. <laughs> he just disappeared. Um, anyway, okay, let's try the highway. Let's see if this works. 
Nope, it doesn't. Okay. I kind of figured that was the case, but now we know for sure. Okay, let's get moving. Look at that point defense formation. There's a wall of death. <laughs> Alright guys, we are back in our home sector here in Grand Exchange 1. Um, that noise that I thought was gunfire, I think it's just the engines firing on the ship. Because watch this. See if I pull the throttle back or then forward again, it happens. So I believe that's what that is. They're probably like inertial thrusters or something doing that. Uh, but anyway, we are uh, back in our home sector. And so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to let Callie uh, take us in to dock. So let's go ahead and hop up out of here and let her take her place at the helm. This is a, a red letter moment for you, Cal. Look at you. It's like you were made for this. Okay, and then let's give the ship uh, the command to dock. Uh, I don't know why there's an override on there. Uh, at Reaver Industries. Let's see, so Rattlesnake is selected. Dock and wait. We have new orders. We have Navigation. new orders. Fly to the following position. Confirmed. Nice. She talked to navigation over here, but isn't this the... Oh, I guess that is the navigation console. Okay, what's this again? The flight control. Okay. That's gunnery control. And this is enge the engineering console. Very nice. It doesn't actually give us gunnery control, though. It just gets us into the ship menu itself. Okay, cool. Whoops. Very neat. It's too bad um, we couldn't go to additional places on the ship. Uh, well, I guess... Oh, there. wait a minute. Hold on. We can go to different places. Oh, check this out. Let's check the brig out. I didn't know this. <laughs> this is where we put the bad people. That is cool, man. They even have portholes that they can look out of. What do you know? Okay. Where else can we go? Uh, crew quarters. Let's go check that out. Oh, this is neat, man. They have a place to come in and just kind of chillax. I'm assuming there's probably bunks in the in those side rooms. A kitchen area. Oh, man. Again, it's the little things in this game that just make it so fun. Oh, that is so cool. Okay, let's go see what else what else there is. Um crew core. Okay, we've already been on the bridge. And then let's go down to the dock area. Crew woman fat. <laughs> oh, this is cool. Ship looks so much bigger when you're on foot like this. We probably can't jump up on there, huh? Nope. All right, neat. neat. Let's go back to the bridge and watch the ship come into dock. Navigation. Prepare to 
dock. Affirmative. Request permission to dock. Trying to get a good view here. <laughs> there we go. Bring the ship in slowly. Affirmative. Whoa. Uh, is that slowly? What are we doing? Docking upside down? Oh, we we must have been upside down ourselves. Huh. I guess we have to assume that there's a teleporter that brings us from that little bay there uh, over to the actual station. It's kind of I kind of wish, though, that it actually hooked, you know, connected to it. That would be cool. But still, overall, very neat. Really like it. Okay. Um, so then I guess if we go down this way, is that a thing? So I think it, it'll probably just teleport us directly to wherever we want to go like it would in any other case. Um, it doesn't look like there's a, a physical place that we can get off the ship, so we just have to teleport. Right, okay. Whoops, nope, didn't mean to do that. Well, we got another uh, transport ship derping out there. Very cool. All right, guys. Well, we now finally have our destroyer. So uh, let's talk about what uh, the next plan, uh, the plan is for the next episode, the tentative plan anyways. Um, I want to start getting into the freighter business, uh, at least with my advanced traders. Which means um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to go with the in in Carcatura Sentinel, and we're going to arm it to the teeth, and we're going to provide it at least a ten fighter escort. So, if it gets bo bothered from pirates from now on, uh, they're just they're just going to fight instead of run away. Um, my Hermes ships, you know, our original purpose for those is to get the fastest ships we could so that they could run away. That doesn't always work well. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. So I think what I'm going to do with all the Hermes ships is I'm going to assign them to the station. And if we lose them, we lose them. And then our advanced traders moving forward are either going to be in a freighter or I'm going to put them probably back in a vulture or maybe even a mercury because the mercury has two turrets. And the same idea, have them stand their ground. Uh, with a 10 uh, fighter squadron to protect them for our advanced um, traders. So that's kind of what I have in mind coming up next. Um, we also are going to be working on uh, taking out the SEA pirate station with our new destroyer. So that'll be coming up soon. And we have, of course, more mission things to do as well. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and share out the video. And we'll catch y'all in the next episode. See ya. Thank you.